and I want to recognize you guys and gals, and uh, I want to talk about what we can do uh, as far as uh, who wins the uh, the big award, the the big golden cowbell award. <laughs> Somebody did win. I'm going to announce that, but I also want to talk about the runners up today. We've had a great year here in uh, at Real Estate Wholesalers Club. And um, I'm very thankful for everybody that's participated and everybody adds so much value. Everybody that, that comes to the Q and a sessions live every day. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, you guys really make this club what it is. I was thinking about this yesterday. Um, and from my heart, I was thinking, you know, how do I really feel about things? And, and how do I was watching some YouTube videos, some, um, some psychology videos. So it had me digging deep. <laughs> Uh-oh, 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 I'll come to drugs, yeah. Yeah, 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 so, you know, I'm, I'm really doing this introspective undertaking, you know, on a Sunday afternoon, I'm just uh, really digging deep in my soul and asking myself about uh, the Real Estate Wholesalers Club and asking myself about real estate and, and all of you and uh, how I really feel about that and what would I say, and I think the words that came to me were, I don't think I've ever been a part of anything ever that I was able to put my heart into like I can with you guys. That's the facts. Yes. <laughs> I'm oh, Vic, Coach Victor's. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm tearing up over here. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He's busting yeah. my chops over here. <laughs> but uh, that is true. I, I really can put my heart into it. And. I think a lot of times people ask me, hey, what uh, what do I need to do to to break that um, to break that lazy, inconsistent? I know I should do it, but I just don't seem to ever get it done. That kind of thing. And we all know what that is. I got that. I got that bone. You got that bone. <laughs> I think that all that was a standard factory issue a uh, human problem you know um the only advice i can say is i think really truthfully is then find something that you can really 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 put your heart into and um that's what this club has done for me especially this year i recognize that you know it's only been we've only been doing this about three years now so three years can you imagine wow Woo. That's a lot of, that's a lot of Q and A's. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, um, anyway, hopefully in the last three years, um, we've, uh, we've been able to touch you in your heart a little bit and, um, help you move your, move the momentum a little bit further in your direction. So today I, I wanted to take some time I want to mention some names, but just because I don't mention your name, if I don't mention your name, it doesn't mean that you're not valuable. It doesn't mean you're not important. It just means that there were some other folks that put their heart into it a little bit more. <laughs> That's all. So, um, you know, we're here to help one another. And uh, a lot of you really, really do a lot of helping with each other. And that makes this club wonderful, in my opinion. So I want to I want to do some honorable mentions of some runners up. Now, what I want to do today is I, I do want to present the uh, the Shut Up Money Cowbell Award here, and what that is is the Real Estate Wholesalers Club Golden Cowbell Award 2021. It's a real cowbell. It comes with a little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an absolutely real cowbell. It's a genu genu right. genuine, bona fide, one handle and everything authentic yeah this shit is sure. real hey we're not getting you to fake shit here you no, know no. what i mean no. <laughs> it's legit somebody was like hey you know is it made of real gold and i was like nah we don't get that fake shit here we get the real cowbell here man <laughs> you know like the, we dealing in the real deal right. so and, and then it comes with this little little plaque i'll i promise i'll wipe it off from where i had my coffee mug sitting on it earlier <laughs> uh <laughs> Just a nice way of saying thank you. Uh, hopefully it's nice. And then, you know, for the winner, they can set that on their, uh, oh, it comes with this nice Lazy Susan turntable, the automatic. You see, you notice how I'm not a magician. 
See, I, I'm not. <laughs> I'm spin, not making, no expense. Yeah. Spin, no expense. <laughs> I'm not making it do this spinning thing by magic. It's just, it's a, it's a, a thing I got from Amazon. So. <laughs> Very cool. So uh, whoever wins this can, uh, you know, set it up and, and really like maybe put it on your mantelpiece, you know, make it like put it by the, uh, you know, the KFC chicken bucket collection or whatever important <laughs> memorabilia you may have collected over the years. <laughs> I was in the Mimi room. Uh, and uh, the runners up, those folks that I'll mention, those were nominated by you. The club members voted. That's how all of this came about. But the runners up will receive the mini cowbell that has the Real Estate Wholesalers Club 2021 Club MVP runner up sticker on it. So that might be that's that's because uh, that's a real cowbell, too, but it's it's really, really small. <laughs> what about that tuxedo uh, you got on? <laughs> that tuxedo. So what do you think of that? Yeah. Hey, cool. I went with the gold, the gold option. <laughs> they had they had red and blue and but anyway. Have to so match the bell. To see, say that again, Coach Victor. You have to match the bell. Got to match the bell. That's right. And we got to keep it classy around here. That's right. You know, <laughs> we are one hundred percent a class act around here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh I wish fun. to God Having that fun. was true. I wish to God that was true. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So first up, in no particular order, our first runner up. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to to uh to introduce you and then I'd like you to just share for you know two, three minutes, five minutes, whatever you got in your heart, and just tell us about your year, tell us about your business, tell us about uh the club, about people in the club, whatever you want to talk about the floor is yours for uh you know three to five minutes something like that because we got a we got a good number of folks to to mention today so let's start out with let's see he let's see here uh i got a pick engine engine number nine going down chicago line no it's not a good way to pick okay let's start with uh let's start with uh jerry can we start with jerry jerry smith jerry we love you you're an awesome you dude guy Jerry was nominated for MVP of the year and uh, he came in as a runner up. So Jerry, um, the floor is yours, man. Thank you for being a part of the club. I just want to say uh, after joining the club, it really has helped me. Uh, it's been an amazing year. I think the coaches are great. Okay. And when you were thinking of people with the uh, runner up, um, I was also thinking in my mind about, a runner up for the coach of the year. But as I was thinking, all of the coaches are great. So there's not one that I could really pick out. Okay. So all of you guys yeah. are great. You've been a lot of help to me. Okay. As to when I first came in, I had a lot of problems as far as uh, talking to homeowners. Okay. And after role plan, it has helped me and the support that you get from the club. If I ever have a problem, I know that the club is here to support me. And it's just been great. And I love you guys. I love you too, Jerry. Yeah. Jerry. Jerry, I'm always excited to see you show up, man. Whenever you show up, whenever you can to the, the Q&As, I, I know that we have a lot of them and you can't make them all. <laughs> when I watch a lot of, of the uh, videos, okay, afterwards. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, very very loyal uh faithful attender and follower and uh and uh, it's always exciting to see you here man you, you have a lot to to add what what's one big thing that's happening in your business this year or 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 has happened one of the big things that's happening it has not happened yet i'm trying to flip a motel what give us the elevator uh you know, speech on that. What, tell us about that. Uh, it was a situation. Uh, I met a gentleman uh, approximately two years ago. Uh, he was a uh, wannabe investor and we met at a rear group and sort of stayed in touch with him. And 
he told me about this motel that the lady had for, had been trying to sell for two years. And he, he didn't, didn't want to move forward. He didn't know where to go with it, okay? So I asked him to show me uh, where it was and give me the address. So I went and took a look at it and I was able to get in touch with the people. And on that particular deal, uh, I had a contract, they sold it to someone else and then those people can't close on it now. And so they called me back. So it's in the process. It's not a done deal yet. It's just in the process. That's good though. That's mm -hmm. good. And my, like wife, and my wife is a, a nurse and she um, works for American Addiction and she was, the, it was 15 rooms, okay? And all of the rooms are like kitchenettes, okay? Where they got the stove, the refrigerator. And she was saying, uh, why don't we buy it and turn it into something for the veterans, you know? So That's she great. got all excited about it, but I just want to flip it. <laughs> <laughs> what's the, what state is it in? Florida. You gotta look into assisted living. Pardon? I'm telling you, you got to advertise it, market it for assisted living. You, you'll yeah. move it this afternoon. Right. The market is that hot. I've done two of them. I, I had someone interested in it before they backdoored me on it. Okay. So now I have to get back in touch with the people. Okay. And see if we get this back. I'm working on that right now. If you strike out, you call me. Oh, I, I've attempted to call you a couple of times, but I wanted to try to do it on my own. But believe me, I got your number <laughs> set in here, you know. Bring it to the bring it to the deal lab Monday night. There you go, tonight. I'm okay, telling you, right. assisted living is the way to go with that property. All right, yeah. sorry to butt in. Go ahead, guys. Yeah. Right. That's good. That's good. Uh, Jerry, that's awesome. I'm proud of you, dude. You should be proud of yourself. It looks like you're swinging for the fences, man. And uh, I'm rooting for you, bro. Rooting yes. for you. Thank you for being a part of the club. Thank you for all the value you add in participating with us here. Yeah, all right. I would not have ha uh, had the courage and uh, you know and the know how to step out there and do it if it wasn't for the uh, group here. So thank, thank you. you guys for all the support and always being there. And I, one of the things I know, if I run into a problem with this, uh, Steve, just a phone call away. So I, you know, proud to be a part. Thank God. We have a great coaching team here. Great coaching yeah. team. All right, let's go. Let's hear from the ladies. <laughs> Y'all ready? You re ready for, is LaShonda in the room? Is LaShonda able to talk? I want you to take a Hell yeah, I'm here. You're, you're a runner-up for the MVP award of the year. Well, thank y'all. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you could hear that. I got the noise filter way up to <laughs> sorry. All right. LaShonda, you're you're an MVP runner up of the year. You got the floor for three, five minutes. T tell us whatever's on your heart or your mind. What's on my heart and my mind. I, first What's of all, I heart? want to say thank you all for nominating me. The club has been awesome. I, um, I joined, I don't remember when I joined, I think November, December, somewhere like that. Uh, since then, you know, I have um, gained a lot of structure because I was all over the place with with my business I'm still a little all over the place actually but um I've gotten a whole lot better with the club I've gotten a whole lot better with uh calling and um communicating with sellers based off of a uh, role playing and watching a lot to a lot of um uh sessions I'm not able to attend so I watch a lot of the videos after the you know after um after the sessions is over or whatever and um I just want to say that I appreciate everybody that's uh, in this group because everybody is very supportive, whether it's just us regular people and then we have all the coaches, right? So I just want to say that once again, that the club has allowed me to grow and I'm continuing to grow and I want to bring that bell home, baby. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good. <laughs> Lashonda's had a good year. And uh sounds like and uh uh, she didn't tell us all about that in this video here today, but um, yeah, had a good year. And she's always got that uh, that extra that extra energy. Don't you wish you had just a little bit of her energy? <laughs> well, actually, I can speak about that. I have had a great year so far. Um, I'm still grinding. We still have what four months left? September. Yeah, however many months we got left, yeah. I still feel like uh, it's still plenty of time for us to get more deals but yes you're correct i have had a great year and i plan for it to be even greater by december 31st oh uh, when she says great year she doesn't mean like she's been happy this year she means she made a, a lot of money <laughs> <laughs> to i made down. some i made some money i've made a a total since i've been in the group a total of like ninety five thousand. Ninety-five thousand and wow, something. Wow. Ninety-five, two hundred and something. Wow. So yes, I plan to wow. uh, by December, I'm gonna get a hundred grand. If I don't get number one more deal with five K, I'm good. My goal is a hundred grand, and so I'm still, I'm still going at it. Well, that sounds, <laughs> that sounds easy. <laughs> yeah, <sounds> easy. <laughs> uh, congratulations. Sounds easy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for being a part of things, Lashonda. You really add a lot to to the club here. Also, you too, Justin. You're a great you're a great coach. Oh, I call you. you a coach slash mentor. Thank you. I think you're a a, a great leader. All Appreciate of the coaches it. are great leaders, and this club has uh it has really you know given the people value for the amount of money that we're um being charged monthly. That makes yeah. a difference. Yeah, because a lot of clubs nowhere near. <laughs> as yeah. reasonable as this one so that that yeah. that helps as well oh thank you thank you for saying that we uh we try to that's what we're trying to do you know they right they say if you want to be successful you have to give more value than you expect in money return right, right. and that's what I, that's I what we that's what we want to do here and hopefully everybody feels that way um thank you for saying that all right all right let's move on let's go to uh uh is uh is coach nick available is he in the room is he available Coach Nick, Coach Nick What's is the uh, uh, he's the leader of our uh, Wednesday night tactical real estate startup. Do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, it's a great, great thing. If you're not, if you've never been on Wednesday nights VIP with Coach Nick, you are missing out. Uh, this dude is one sharp cookie, and I mean he's very sharp. I'm glad that. Uh, I'm glad that somehow uh, he came came to me and and got in this club because uh, he he he's he's got the right stuff and yeah uh, if you want the right stuff just go he'll 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 show you what it is okay uh, Coach Nick you got the floor for three to five minutes sir uh, uh, well uh, thanks man for uh, the kind words um, uh, but where I want to say first and foremost man thank you for uh, I'm very glad that I got introduced to you. And uh, I've not only gained a mentor, uh, a great coach, but I feel like I've gained an older brother in you. And uh, I mean, I'm very, oh, very grateful for, for everything that uh, that your club had provided me and I'm able to kind of give back to that. Um, and everything in here, like even just from meeting other people inside this group to uh, you know, Victor to Mark, uh, LaShonda, Sandra, uh, you know, Jerry. I mean, just great relationships all the way across the board. Um, I'm very, very grateful to uh, all of y'all, uh, you know, for, for, you know, helping me out in the beginning and, and even kind of working with me. And uh, it's been great. I'm very grateful for this book. Well, we're very grateful for you, sir. So thank you for saying all those nice, wonderful words. You guys are, uh, you guys are blowing me up all big. <laughs> all right. Appreciate that. Um, let's, uh, let's go on to, uh, Rick is Rick in the room. Rick, Rick G Rick G man. Rick is Rick is a charter member. Rick has been with me from the very, very beginning. 
Rick, I don't know how you found me, man, but I'm sure glad yeah. you did. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's just it's been a blessing ever since, though. You know, I mean, ever, I, um, I've said it before, and just everything that you do and give to this club is just changing so many people's lives. It's insane, man. And I mean, just just being a part of this group. And um, what I really like about it is that everybody from the group is, you know, kind of at a different place. And so everybody has kind of something to share. I don't talk much. <laughs> I know I need to do that more. Right. But um, it's just been a real blessing to be a part of it, man. And just growing. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm always restructuring myself, you know, kind of taking a step back and listening to all the experiences and everything that, that others have with all the different calls and everything. And it's really just a, an ongoing, growing, enjoyable process just being a part of, of all this, man. I can't thank you enough and, and everybody that's here. It's just been, been an amazing journey. Looking forward you know, to all the years ahead of just growing together. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. Hey, thank you. Hey, you. Uh, Larry, you oh. were going to say something? Oh no. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Yeah. No, uh, man, that's yeah, really. Rick. I mean, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go for it, Rick. Go for it. No, that's that's really. I mean, uh, the biggest thing is just growing together as, as the group, and 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 you know, and just. Uh, filling all those experiences and, and really just learning off of each other, man. It, it's really a great environment. And again, yeah, thank you. Uh, words can't really describe, you know, how much I appreciate just being a part of such an awesome group. So I want to thank you and everybody, man. I love, I love, I love thank everybody. You. Thank so, you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, a lot of people don't know this. Maybe nobody knows this, uh, but uh, Rick, Rick helps me out with some uh, social media management a little bit here and there <laughs> if you've noticed <laughs> if you've noticed our group isn't loaded full of uh skip tracers and uh cold callers and virtual assistants that post in the group every five seconds you notice that it's pretty clear of that uh we have we have rick to thank for a lot of that <laughs> oh thanks man thank you so much Yes, sir. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, Larry, Larry, Larry is up. These are runner ups, runners up, runners up. It's like uh, surgeons general. It's runners up, right? <laughs> Not runner ups. <laughs> All right. Larry is a runners up oh. for the MV, uh, the MVP award, the golden cowbell. You're the, you're a runner up, sir. So Larry, you've been with us for a long time and Larry brings a lot of joy to the club. That's Larry's gift. He brings a lot of laughter and joy to the club. He's, he's good heart, good spirit, good attitude. And uh, it's always good to have Larry around. So Larry, you've got the floor for three to five minutes. If you'd like to share something, man. Well, thank you. Thank Justin. you. Thank everybody. Uh, well, I don't know if a lot of people know me or not that well, but thanks for uh, nominating me for the runner up. Uh, I've learned a lot from the club and from all, all the coaches on here and learned how to talk to sellers. And uh, I just, uh, I think it's a great deal that we got going here. Everybody just uh, tries to help everybody out. And uh, that seems to be a, a, a real help to, to, to me and, and I would think everybody else. But uh, I think we have some real good coaches on here. And I've been on a while, so uh, maybe probably a year, I guess. Yeah, maybe longer than that, Larry. Maybe longer than that. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been, it's been a while. Yeah. I'm yeah, glad I you... learned, yeah, I really learned a lot on here now. Yeah. I haven't done you... a lot of deals, but uh, I keep trying anyway. That's uh, good. 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 I'm glad you're with us, man. And uh, like I said, your attitude is uh, is something that we we uh, we need to spread around a little bit. You know, we need to spread that attitude around. Got a good one. Glad you're here, Larry. Let, let's go on. Um, I have a, a guest speaker that's going to come on and, and uh, keynote speak for us just for a little while today. And uh, he said he's going to light the fire under us. He said he was going to pull our hair a little bit. You know, so this is going to get it's going to get dangerous. <laughs> All right. So let's let's move forward. Uh, is uh, Arturo here? Coach Arturo, are you in the room here, bro? bro? 
what's going on, my guys? Hey, Coach Arturo, he, he heads up our Friday Ace Your Local Market. He This is a man of high energy and high skill. All right. So he's got a lot of knowledge when it comes to doing the owner finance, creative finance, seller finance, subject twos, so on and so forth, that type of thing. But not only that, this guy is a marketing wizard. All right. If you had 10% of the marketing energy this man puts into his business, we would all be richer. All right. So coach, <laughs> coach Arturo, you got the floor for three to five minutes, sir. Thank you, sir. Runners up. Ah, thank you guys. Again, the club speaks for itself as far as the shadow money again and the guts. Um, ever since I met Justin, I doubled my business. I've been doubling my business consistently since I met Justin. So it was just a matter of pacing myself again, hearing other people's way of talking as far as to the sellers and, and implementing it. And yeah, I, I try to bring again, you guys know me from now and by now that I'm frugal with my money. So I try not to spend money, but I don't have to. So if I can get something for free, just put in some work, especially I put myself like how I started initially. Again, I put myself against the wall, no money, find a way to get deals with no money out of your pocket. So, so yeah. And as far as the team, the group, again, I always, one of the things that I, that, that I like to tell people, like you gotta be accountable for yourself. And again, me being in the group makes me accountable. Cause if I tell you, I preach something, I gotta bring it to the table as well. So again, when, when I, when I show you guys checks or checks that are, makes me accountable and hopefully it, in, it inspires you. Hey, these guys, he's getting money by the way, they, the way he's marketing. So why not me? Again, I'm not, I'm not special. Yeah. I consider myself real smart, of course, but nothing so complex that you can't do it again. Being smart is just being able to add one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one. Eventually you get to a hundred. So if you just chop it down and, and be accountable for yourself and have the guts, Again, it's, I always praise the guts because, again, that's what you need to be able to confront the sellers and be able to think on your toes and not be able to be afraid. Again, that's the key because you might get 20 leads, but if you suck in the phone, again, you're dumping it in the, in the trash. And that's what I got from the team. That's what I got from Justin. The way he talks, I still struggle sometimes to slow myself down, but I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. So I try to slow down. Again, ask the questions that are tough. Again, I can pull over right now and ask somebody if they want to sell their house that's part of the guts being able to just don't worry about anything else how they think about you just stop ask oh how do you mean oh okay again that's part of the guts and again i think just for that man we think you're a smart guy around here you're a smart guy and uh very 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 effective guy too and uh want that to rub off on everybody you know you said something real important there i think too and that is that the accountability that you get from preaching one thing on friday and then feeling the need to continue to live it out during the rest of the week uh that sounds like something my dad would say yep. my dad's a preacher man he would talk he would say that about sundays now <laughs> yeah do what you say yeah yeah, absolutely. You know, um, and I want to say that for everybody that's in the club, if you if you're not a runner up, if you're not uh, a coach, or if you're if if you're not getting in with both feet into the club, that is something that you will get from it if you do put yourself into the club like that. If you do put yourself into the club like that in a leadership kind of role where you're helping other people or you're you're assisting other people or helping to add coaching to other people's lives in some way. Uh, JVing on some deals or partnering on some things, those things right there will help you be accountable. Help you be accountable. All right. Well, well said, Coach Arturo. Thank you, sir. Very glad you're a part of this club. Let's go back to the ladies. Let's talk to Sandra. Sandra is a runner up. Yeah, Sandra deserves it. Sandra is a warrior. She's a warrior. She's very solid. Very, very solid. I don't know if she's able to uh, to uh, speak here. She didn't pop on. Maybe we'll catch her here in a little while. All right. Is that her? About that. Sandra, yay. Hi. Sorry. What's going on? I'm trying hey. to hide in the back of a, uh, like a grocery store over here. Um, but hi, guys. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. So um, I just want to say thank you so much <laughs> to everybody um that's a part of this club um it's so are you okay 
I thought I heard somebody um, struggling to, um, to cough or something, but um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much to everybody that's been, that's a part of this club. Um, I'm coming up to almost a year in being in the club now, and it's been so helpful for me in so many ways. Um, I remember that I joined um, the call lab in March and shout out to Mark. Um, that's really, really helped me um, in, in terms of that, in terms of talking to sellers um, and not just sellers, also talking to buyers as well, you know, because you got to be able to go on both sides of the deal, you know, the acquisition and a dispo. So that's really, really helped me to build my confidence. Um, you know, this would be, this fall would be, my, you know, completing my first year of, you know, investing. And, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's a lot of hard work. It's, it's not meant for everybody and we're definitely a special type of breed um you know because it's very easy to fall off and, and and give up but the club is so supportive you know shout out to all the other coaches as well um yes you know i just i i i felt like there was like for me i had to do this because you know what one of the things i've always said is like i felt like there was no plan b really you know, I had a full-time job and a part-time job, both in the hospitality industry. And I thought I was all set, <laughs> you know, and look what happened. So um, I feel like this way, just, it gives me the opportunity to really be in the driver's seat. And um, it's just changed me like my, you know, mentally wise in terms of just, you know, how I'm thinking about just being my own boss and, you know, um, real estate for me is, is, is for me is generational wealth and the things that I want to do, you know, for my family as well. So, um, you know, thank you so much. You know, this club is just amazing. And I try to make an effort to, to be here every single day, yeah. you know, um, and, you, you know, get what everybody else is also um, contributing. Yeah. So thank you so much for that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for participating. We love having you here. You add a lot of value. Thank you. Well-deserved runners up. Well-deserved. All right. Alan Bryan, where you at, bro? Where you at? He's a runners up. He was nominated for the MVP of the year. Alan Bryan. Alan Bryan. There you go. You got the floor, sir. Three minutes, five minutes. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you for the nomination, Justin. And thank you for the club, bro. I, I can't believe, I don't know what I did right to be nominated, but, but also thank you. A war oh. Also a warrior. This guy's a phone warrior. Uh, I, I learned from you the best from all of y'all, man. Um, yeah, uh, take advantage of all the, the weekly meetings. And, you know, um, I, I thank the club for getting me past that uh, discomfort and you know, continuing to failing forward and uh, not uh, dwelling on uh, what could have been, but just keep on moving forward. So I, I want to thank the club for that, because uh, before that, I was uh, overanalyzing in YouTube University. So that's probably a huge leap ever since I... I uh, I joined. So uh, shout out to all y'all for being patient with me and uh, helping me get through uh, all my uh, silly questions. And of course, uh, the call labs and uh, with uh, Coach Mark, the deal lab with uh, Coach Steve, uh, the Monday, Tuesdays with Justin and uh, Arturo with, uh, with the Friday joints and uh, Vic, Coach Victor with the Wednesday joint, which uh, I remember day one, man. Like, uh, I'm like, whatever, man, I'm just going to go for it. So he helped me, he helped me get past through that. So Appreciate the club, man. Uh, keep keep doing what you're doing, man. Appreciate it. Sorry, thank you, dude. You had a lot of value here. Um, really glad you're a part of the club, Alan. Uh, you're inspiring on the phone. If you need to be inspired on the phone, listen to Alan. Okay. He's got, he's got some great, great, great magic there. Coach Steve, our Monday Night Deal Laboratory coach. You were nominated for MVP of the year, so you're a runners up, sir. Oh, Thank boy. you. Welcome. Oh, boy. You got I want to thank the Academy. Yes, sir. Thank the Academy. <laughs> they all voted for you. Hey, you know what? This is really the, the basis of this. Okay. The basis of this is supposed to be lease options. And that's how this was promoted when I looked at it. And that's the reason why I got on it. I didn't do a whole of a lot of uh, lease optioning with residential property. And as, as this evolves, I think I've been with this now about eight months, I don't know, a year. You look at the calls, the way the people come in, the questions they ask, this has got a hell of a lot more to do with that than just lease options. 
you know, firstly, if you can't talk on a telephone, you're not going to get anywhere. So you look at Victor, you listen to Mark and Victor, and, and, and they pull you up and they put you in the driver's seat and say, all right, let me get you started with these tools. And then if you want to go on, you know, you got Nicholas, which will show you how to get your business off the ground and get started. So that's all great. And uh, you've got uh, every time I tune into to Arturo, I learned something on Fridays. I mean, he's he's a very smart young lad. He really is. I like listening to him. And I started doing this Monday night call because I find it fun. And you know what? If you're if you've been sad, if you most entrepreneurs, I think, all have ADD because it's very, very tough for us to stay in one place and not move on and go into something else. And I am, I am probably one of the biggest problems with that because I'm never satisfied with what I'm doing. I'm always jumping all over the place. Right. But uh, I've done well in life and I don't, and I think people that, uh, that just keep to themselves and don't share are, they're just selfish people. If you've, if you've got something to share, it doesn't have to be financial. It can just be, you know, my dad had a, my dad told me years ago, you know, rest in peace. He said to me, listen, he says, when you go to school, he says, they're going to teach you how to be an employee. He says, that's what they're going to teach you. He says, now, when you're going to get most of the smarts, most of what people are going to talk to you, listen to your elders. And I'm not saying I'm an elder. Listen to people that have been in the business a long time. Anything you're going to look at, because they'll open the door and they'll show you things you're never going to find in a textbook. He says, and listen to what they've got to say. And, and, and when you if they really, really open up to you, he says, you know, you got it made. He says, that's the way you're really going to learn. I had a fellow in a, in a, uh, in a, a restaurant bar up in Rhode Island, took out a, a cocktail napkin. And on this napkin, the outline he gave me made me millions of dollars. It wasn't in this industry. It was in another yeah. business. But just to show you that going to, an, if, if we treat this atmosphere, mm -hmm with these calls, the way that people aren't afraid to ask a question, mm -hmm. make believe you're sitting in your best friend's basement, mm -hmm. having a cocktail, mm -hmm. and you're just sitting around having a conversation. That's how you learn. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be someone here lecturing you because you're mm -hmm. going to lose, you're going to lose it. That's why if you look, I, I started looking on YouTube, and how many people tune in and how many people watch, how many people listen, and, and uh, you know, you, what you get on a live call and all of a sudden, how many people go on afterwards and they're listening and they're, and they're, they're watching these. It's, oh, yeah. it's incredible. Yes. Guys, we can grow this. Yeah. I, I don't want to tell you it's a mistake just calling it lease options, but this should be almost every, we can encompass everything real estate. And I mean that I don't, I'm not a big commercial guy, but everything, maybe everything residential real estate and finance in this club on these calls. Let's do it. Want to think outside the box? Come <laughs> see me on Monday night. I mean, you know, that's all. What else did I yeah. want to say? And I think, um, I think that's it. I covered it. Thanks for the opportunity. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, you guys are all, you guys are all inspirational. Everybody, everybody here has a hidden talent and they should exploit it and they should help out. Yeah. Absolutely. The only way we grow this group is one at a time. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you either you have to go out and ask somebody to join you know people that are talented that are in your rear tell them to join mm -hmm. and that's how we grow yeah that's how we get more experience yeah. you know that's how you become more confident you know one thing that happens when you get older you get more confidence and you get experience so you're not afraid to aim for the you know aim for the outfield and put that ball over the fence because you know right. what the odds are right you know, so right. thanks everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you, Coach Steve. Yeah. He brings a lot of value here. Uh, I've surrounded myself with people that are more intelligent than me. You know, have you noticed that? <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you haven't noticed it too much. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's so true. And Coach Steve is definitely one of those guys uh, that I look up to, and that I'm I'm trying to just honestly, I'm just trying to glean everything that I can off Coach Steve. Coach Steve, thank you for being a part of here. Don't don't miss Monday nights, eight o'clock central for Coach Steve, uh, right here in the Zoom room, and that's open to the public right now. That that that's one of our only episodes that's open to anybody that wants to come. So if you want a taste of the flavor, 
Uh, right there, Monday nights, 8 o'clock. So let's move on real quick before we introduce our guest speaker. Uh, we have two more guys to, to talk about. And the next guy that's runners-up, Mr. Coach Victor Walker, one of my good, good friends. I love you, Coach Victor. How are you? You got the floor. This guy, this guy just looking at him makes you feel happier. You know what I mean? Oh, man, that's uh, – <laughs> hey, hey, thank you, guys. Hey, um, I just want to say that I have really um, – I've really gained so much value out of being, you know, in this group. Uh, I remember when I first uh, introduced myself to you, Justin, and, you know, I think we immediately had a sort of level of respect for each other. And, you know, at that time I was, you know, I was floundering a little bit, you know, I didn't have a, a whole lot of direction. And then when I came into the group, it just kind of, you know, gave me a, a family, a place to, to, to hang my hat. And just as importantly, it gave me a, a certain accountability, like um, especially when you invited me to do some coaching, I knew that I was going to have to show up. And I knew that if I showed up, I wanted to show up with value. And in order to create value, I had to, or in order to bring value, I had to go out and create value. You know, so I've, I've you know, managed to do some things in, 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 in the business. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm currently working on a project that I'm super excited about. Um, I have deals in the work. Um, you know, it's, it's just been really good. And I just want to thank everybody that's in the group, everybody that has brought value with you, you know, Coach Steve, um, uh, Nicholas, Coach Mark, Ace, um, you know, pretty much everybody in here, you know, all the ladies, Sandra, LaShonda, my man, Jerry Smith, my man, Rick, you know, I could just go down the list of all the names. I don't want to, you know, go through everybody's name, but I just want to let you guys know that I truly, truly appreciate all your contributions. I tend to be a, a, a bit of a loner. So this has kind of become my uh, family, so, you know, to, to show up and, 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 you know, you guys, you guys just bring a whole lot of value and I appreciate you guys voting for me and, you know, putting me up there. You know, I'm disappointed that I didn't win coach Mark, <laughs> but he's so, he's such a badass that, you know, it's like, okay, all right. Well, I, okay. I, I, I can come in behind this guy. That's great. Coach, Vic, <laughs> coach Victor is a good friend of mine. I, if I ever wanted to just call somebody and just talk about shit, uh, yeah, yeah we shoot shit about everything. Coach Victor's at the top of the list for me. That's just how it is. And lots of love for you, brother. Love learned you too, a, brother. Learned love a lot, you. learned a lot from you. You've caused me to grow, dude. I appreciate that. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate it. So uh let's let's move forward to the winner. Are you ready for the winner of the Golden Cowbell 2021 <laughs> award? Oh. Yeah, yes. Hey, you get this nice little plaque. I promised I'd wipe it off. Um, yeah. So are you ready? Drum roll, please. Everybody, he already let the cat out of the bag. The winner is not only, not only is he a great guy, not only is he somebody that we all love and we all get along with him super well. He gets along with everybody. Not only that, but this guy is encouraging. He will work with you and never let you feel like you fucked up, like you're just growing. Okay, this is all wonderful, wonderful coaching material here. And so he is also the leader of two call labs during the week where we call sellers together. We fucking get on the phone and we call them together. Let me introduce to you none other than our very own coach mark richardson the winner of the 2021 mvp golden cowbell you guys are killing me man <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm sitting here going down the list of like everybody that's on here, you know, and I'm, I'm like, man, I've got great relationships with all these people, you know, it's like they're just all of you guys like I could sit there and go down the line and just go, oh my gosh, you know, and but you know, number one dude is Justin, like, not only is he like an unbelievable mentor, but man, he is such a such a great friend too. you know, he's checking in on me all the time, you know, just really, really helps me out way more than just being are you gonna cry dude 
a mentor. Well, it's, you know, it's a rough time. It's a rough time in my life. And you guys are all freaking <laughs> get me, get me through this shit. I just you know? want to fucking hug so, you right now, man. That's all I want to fucking do. Just, just hug you right drink now. heavily. That's all. Drink yeah. heavily. Well, that's, that's the, that's the problem now. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, man, I freaking love you guys. You guys are all so amazing, you know, and, but you know, I mean, I seriously, I can go down the line and just, I, I have one thing I got to say about uh, Larry, which is the best. Larry was on a call and he's all, hey, man, I, you know, is it okay if I ask you a few questions? And uh, let's see where this takes us. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like that it. That was classic. But, you know, man, I could really just go down. I mean, Sandra has been a great friend to me. Everybody, Ed, you know, any all the way down the line i could just keep going and going and going nick and you know victor's just such a fucking stud i just yeah you know i am i am just so grateful for all you guys you guys are just amazing and i'm learning every day and you know i was scared to death to ever do this call but that's why or to do the thursday call but that's why i did it because i wanted to scare myself to death so you know so I'm I'm beyond beyond grateful for everybody in this group. I mean, I, like I said, I could just go down the line with every single one of you guys, and I've yeah. got great yeah. relationships with you. Now I know all these people from all over the country. You know, yeah. nothing yeah. like it. So and that has everything to do with you, Justin. And thank you for everything, buddy. Yeah. Really, really appreciate you. Uh, you're one of those dudes that I want to play golf with on Friday, man. <laughs> <laughs> we will. We will smoke a little. <laughs> smoke a little happy happy lettuce and uh yeah. drink a little beer and just oh, uh, i don't care if the if the foreplay in front of us is slow we're just having fun <laughs> just having fun that's it, yeah, it. <laughs> thank, thank you guys i really want to thank you all like man just you guys yeah. really do love you guys we love congratulations you, my guy you deserve it Thank yeah, Mark. yeah we love you so much man you've added so much value you have transformed congratulations, my guy I think transformed is the word. You've transformed lives here, man. You have. You have changed lives, and I, and we want to honor you for that, and appreciate you for that. Um, and when you I'm, when you give back, you get it back twenty-fold. Yeah. Oh you guys, yeah. You guys have you guys have transformed my life too. So you know that's for sure. There's no doubt about it. It's been you know, this is like you know another family for sure. You know, like I can call like anybody. I could call anybody and at any time and talk to you guys about anything. You know, yeah. that's pretty freaking cool. Out of yeah. all these people that are in this group, man, you know, I mean, yeah. I called Jerry, talked to him. Jason and I just talked about some really cool stuff last week that has nothing to do with freaking real estate, you know? So yeah. it's, uh, you know, yeah. I lost in basketball today, though. So what? I just to tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> I ran out of gas. <laughs> That's fun. Good times. Hey, and I love Connor too. Connor is like been uh, yeah. just amazing. So Mark's yeah. got one of those uh, businesses that he does with his, uh, with, with one of his sons. So think about, that. I know there's some other folks here in the club that have that, that idea and that dream. And I'm just saying there's other folks here doing it too. Thank you, Coach Mark. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you all the runners up. Uh, I put um, I put the my email address in the chat room here in the Zoom room. It's our team buys houses at gmail.com. Please, if you, if if you were honored today as a runners up, um, and Coach Mark, of course, you won. Um, I, send me your email, uh, not your email. Send me an email with your mailing address, and I will send you your award in the mail. Okay. And and your check. <laughs> no, I meant you'll have to check the mail no. for your award. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have a guest speaker today, and I know I'm sorry we went long, dude, but um, we've got probably 40 minutes. If you want to, if you you know, if you want to rock and roll that long, or, or or maybe not that long, it's up to you. But yeah. uh, this is a dynamic guest speaker he's been here a couple times before he should be here like once a month um uh, he's incredible um he's gonna light the fire under us a little bit here today um big time marketing master here okay big time marketing master knows how to get leads knows how to get leads that get deals all right so um let me introduce to you today 
uh, Mr. Nicholas Nick. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Nicholas Nick, for being Woo! here. Appreciate it, dude. <laughs> What's up, guys? How's it going? Uh, thank you, Justin. Good. I I, I love uh, showing up with you. You have got to be uh, my favorite co-host uh, that I've ever had. Um, I just, oh, that's sweet. I, I, dude, I, I lay in bed thinking about you sometimes, man. You know, and I, I dude, Justin is the best. Like his skill set is so hard to come by. You know, I used to work uh, with Cody Sperber, clever investor, and you know, we used to throw live events. And man, <clears throat> if only I knew Justin back then, because I could have really used his flair. And I remember one time I was 15 minutes late for one of his shows and it, and he just rolled with the punches and went right into it and was a total pro. And Justin, I'll never forget that day. And uh, I, I really appreciate that. That's a skill that I think often goes unrecognized because you're so good at just handling the wow. flow. So. Well, thank you, dude. Uh, my mother taught me that. <laughs> hell yeah, dude. Uh, I appreciate <laughs> it. A badass. Yeah, yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But no, so that's, that's great. And yeah, you know, Justin, Justin messaged me, <clears throat> asked me to come on here. You know, guys, I, I'm the owner of Lead Mining, uh, where you, a lot of you may have heard of me. Uh, by now, potentially, um, you know, I own, it's a lead generation company specifically for real estate investors. We're really kind of like an agency in the sense that we, we kind of do everything. We do list pulling, we do skip tracing for only seven cents. We do cold calling. I offer Americans and Filipinos and we do um, all inclusive text messaging or managed text messaging, as I call it, where we actually send the text blast and we pay an employee to handle all your replies for you. And then we send you the lead transcript whenever, uh, whenever we generate a lead. Now, all of the services are like originally intended to be done for you, you know, as far as <clears throat> they aren't, uh, you don't have to do anything. A lot of people go, Nick, what do I need to get started? And I just say, well, you know, you have to pay. You know, and I, I give you guys this backstory so you can really get a feel for, you know, the experience that I have. You know, we've been open for four years now. This week, I'm looking at our commitment. This week, we have 48,000 dials scheduled this week. Wait a minute. 48,000 dials 48, this week? 48,000 this week. <sighs> okay. That's our current weekly commitment. Um, and, uh, and, you know, and it, it, it's growing, you know, so. I, I just share all this so so you know the experience I have and the perspective I come from. You know, I come across a lot of different, you know, investors, as I'm sure you can imagine. My my product has no contracts, no commitments, and no setup fees. So someone can literally show up to, with, to me with 160 bucks and we'll pull a list, skip trace it, give them Filipino cold callers and text message them. And then no contracts. So they're not stuck with me. They don't have to worry about anything. Um, I tell most people, like, if anything, just use me as a professional split testing tool uh, because you can go in risk free, essentially. Like, if you didn't, you don't have to sign up for Mojo Dialer. You didn't have to go buy a headset, find a VA, tell him to quit his current job, give him another job. You know, you don't have to invest so much time or energy uh, when using a service like mine. Um, but, you know, I work with a lot of investors. You know, I, those, 48,000 dials, it's probably over 30 to 50 clients, you know, so a lot of different personalities and I do all of my own customer support. <laughs> so if anyone ever calls me, I'm the one who answers the phone and, you know, and I have a lot of different conversations. I have people pay me $250 and make $13,000, you know, calls me out. He didn't even get one lead. He did not get one lead from us. And he goes, Nick, this guy called me two weeks later and says he wants to sell from your campaign. Made $13,000 on a $250 investment. Wow. I could that's be wrong. Yeah. But that's I think good that's ROI. Like a, yeah. I was going to say it's 97% profit, like in case anybody's wondering, right? Um, and now, of course, it doesn't happen all the time. You know, it takes diligence. You know, he didn't even get a lead. So technically, I'm surprised he didn't call me up yelling at me. You know, a lot of people, hey, you know, your thing said I'd get a minimum of two. And, and, you know, I sympathize with those people. And if we ever do fall below our commitment, I'll always work with, with you know, anybody. 
we'll give you 10 to 20% off your next purchase. Maybe we, maybe you provide the list. I can skip trace it for free. I have so many options at my fingertips. And you know, it's, it's my goal to make sure everybody is happy because we're no contracts, no commitments. It's my extreme customer service that, you know, keeps, keeps people around, you know, um, then I have, you know, then I have some other people, you know, they spend $2,000 and, you know, they don't, they don't really get that great of results. You know, um, we definitely see things, you know, all, all over the spectrum, you know, whenever doing lead generation, a lot of people ask, you know, what should I do now? What should I do next? You know, like a lot of you may know, you know, I recommend anchoring down on the numbers, understanding your KPIs. Don't just move in and move out of a situation. Don't be sporadic. Understand what happened. Understand what kind of list you're calling. Understand the script that they're using. You know, and when I first started this company, we had this horrible ass script. And one of the cold callers kept saying this by accident. And he kept saying, hi, yeah, I'm sorry. I might have the wrong number, but... And everyone kept going, yeah, yeah, you got the wrong number, dude. You got the wrong number, you know? And so it's like, we have to be careful, you know, what we're saying, how we're saying it. You know, every, every word counts, you know? And, you know, whenever, whenever we're doing marketing, you know, it's important to, you know, make sure we know. I ask a lot of people all the time, whenever a campaign sucks, it happens almost every time a campaign doesn't do well. I say, what kind of list was it? They say, oh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> they don't even know what kind of list it was. <laughs> yeah, right. oh, it's, it's, it's a list of properties that might have high equity. Maybe it's absentee or owner occupied. Well, well, which is it? You know, because when, when, when you're doing marketing, you're also going to find what not to do again. You know, you might find that out. If you don't know what kind of list you're calling and it does really bad, you might make that same mistake again, you know, and that, that's one of the reasons why, you know, we got to check our KPIs. We got to know, we got to know exactly the zip code, the list type, the property value range. You should know everything about that and then adjust. Maybe you did too high. Maybe it's time to do too low. Maybe you didn't do sale date properly, you know. You know, you have to make sure that, you know, we're looking at our numbers, you know, don't treat, don't treat right. marketing. And I think a lot of people do this is they treat marketing like it's a fucking genie's lamp, you know? Let's talk like, about oh. that. Let's talk about that. That's, that feels hot to me. Yeah. Right. Mark, treating marketing like it's a genie's lamp. Yeah. Like, oh, you know, I'm fucking, this is, mm, this is going to make me $10,000. You know, I have some clients call me out like 250 bucks for $250. I'll list, pull, skip, trace, give you an American cold caller and text message everybody. And then people call me up and like, I didn't close a deal on that. And I'm like, yeah, well, you spent 250 bucks. I mean, it's like, you know, <laughs> some people, some people close deals off that. That story yeah. I just told was a $250 investment deal. You know, I think we've had 20 clients that have told me that they closed a deal on their first investment with us. You know, and I tell that to clients, I was like, but we've had 5,000. <laughs> you know? So, so you know, how do I go about setting my target numbers, my KPIs, like and monitoring them? But if they're poor or they're non-focused, you know what I mean? How, how do you how do, know? Yeah, right. how do I know I'm doing the right thing, Nick? You know? Yeah. So here's 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 the KPIs that that I consider, you know, good to amazing. I'll give you guys kind of like the levels, okay? If you're cold calling specifically, um, you really want to see anywhere from a nine to a 14% contact rate. If you're up near 14%, high five yourself. You are crushing. Okay? Is that voice voicemails or actual pickups? People, people. So out of a hundred dials, nine to 14 people actually pick up the phone. You know, that's, okay. yep. that, that, that's the first level you want to be at. So 100 dials, 9 to 14 people. Now, on 500 dials, now, on an American dialer, on 500 dials, we like to see anywhere from two to six leads be generated. Okay, now, if you're using foreign cold callers, now, mine are really good, but if you're using foreign, we expect between one and four leads per 500 dials. 
All right, now the contact rate does not change just because you put a foreign cold collar on. So that number should still be anywhere from nine to 14%, but their performance is probably less than that of an American. Our Americans average, you know, twice as much. You know, another thing that we like to see is our wrong number percentages. You know, our service has a 80% or greater accuracy rate. You know, and I can see this, what, what we do is whenever someone has an issue with their campaign, I have my team run an investigative report. This is a report where we look at dials, leads, contacts, wrong numbers, failed, disconnected, busy, where I break down everything. And this is really shows me how important skip tracing is. You know, so I can see that out of, let's say 2000 dials, that 200 people answered, that's our, my 10% contact rate. And then I can see that 20 of those people were the wrong number. All right, so 200 people picked up, 20 people the wrong number. That's a 90% that's a accuracy rate on skip tracing. You know, a lot of times we don't really stop and respect the data that we're seeing, but that's a huge sign. You know, I had this guy call me up, he was a little frustrated earlier. And I said, hey, man, you know, we're calling Los Angeles and we had an 11% contact rate. And I was like, the good news is we're talking to people. Yeah. The bad news is we're not getting a lot of leads, you know, but, right. you know, this is a numbers game. I was like, but it, getting them to answer the phone is step number one. So when you talk about KPIs, the first thing you want to do is validate your conversations. And that's going to be contact rate. That should be nine to 14 percent. And that's going to be how many of them are the right and the wrong number. This is going to tell you the quality of your skip tracing and your list. Just those, the, those two numbers. You're going to see how accurate your skip tracing is. Now, your lead generation rate, that two to six number or the one to four that I was talking about for 500 dials, that's going to give you the quality more of your list. Are you hunting in the right area? Are you, are, you, are you going in the right places? Now, I'll be honest with you. It's kind of hard to fucking test 500, you know, and go, well, you know, that doesn't really give you a clear picture unless you're in like Oklahoma and there's not that many people anyways. But, you know, you really want to do this with probably a 2,000 test. You know, you want to make sure that like 2,000 dials are done consistently on something. And as long as you're getting that nine to 14 percent, keep going till you hit the 2000. You got to finish the split test. Then, if you find out that does work, great, it works, great, let's keep going. Let's do it again. Hey, it's not working, great. What's the criteria? Let's make an adjustment. Did the contact rate suck? Do we need to find new skip tracing? Hey, I have said before, and correct me if this is wrong, but I have said before that there's a reason why PropStream offers 10,000 free record downloads every month with your base subscription, because they know it's going to take between eight and 10,000 to get a deal. Love that. Is that right that. or wrong? I love that. You know, I mean, it depends what you're doing with the records, but the way the average investor treats them, you're right. I'll be honest with you. If you give me 10,000 records a month, we are going to make some money. Yeah. You know, but the average person is probably collecting them like GoPro vacation footage that they're never going to fucking touch. And it's just like <laughs> on this like SIM card. Right. <laughs> okay. You know, well, sometimes we're just collecting them just because they're given to us, but we're not actually putting them into play. You know, man, it's so true. Yeah. So part of that is because we're disorganized and we don't know what we're doing while we're doing it. I think that's what you're saying yeah yeah so yeah. getting or being organized paramount in your marketing like do you know how much you're spending do you know how many you're reaching do you know how many were missed calls bad numbers That's right. how many picked up i bet this is like a real real weak spot for most people because they don't teach how to organize your marketing at school <laughs> well, you know, I'll give you guys an example. I just became partners in a solar company and the solar company is exactly wholesaling. There's a lot of lead gen that's coming in from all different areas. And right now we have cold callers, we have door knockers, we have um, social media posters, we have Facebook ads running. 
And, you know, right now I am getting the stats from everyone. Everyone's providing me their stats. And the answer is we don't know what to scale yet. And that's why everyone has to give me their stats. If I find out it's taking the, the social media people 30 hours to get two appointments, well, guess what? That's not scalable. We're not going to fucking scale that. If I can get my cold caller to generate one lead per two hours, that's fucking scalable. If I can generate him to do one lead per one hour, we're going to crush this, you know? And so it's like, we need to know, and that's exactly what we're talking about, the KPI. So you know what to focus on, you know what? And learning what not to do is just as fucking good as learning what to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How many people here in the room are doing any of the, the list marketing? Do you have lists that you're, you're pulling or, or have it in mind to pull? Anybody in here working lists of any kind? Okay. All right. So um, n- some of us do for sale by owner scrapes and stuff like that. Um, but in local markets, um, we talk about doing list pulling and calling and texting and all of that. Still today, um, ringless voicemail, iffy, right? Might not even be legal. Texting, that's probably legal if you do it the right way. But then cold calling is still the most effective way. What do you think, Nicholas? Cold oh, calling yeah. is still the most effective way to reach these cold market lists? Yeah, you know, cold calling provides the... You know, uh, and I, I like how you broke them down. You know, some people ask if my company provides RVMs. And I say, look, it's already automated. <laughs> you know, I don't, as a service, mm-hmm. I don't know what I would provide to you. You're already sending out a recorded message and then vetting the calls back that come in, you know. Now, the RVM does give you a lot of shit to sift through, right? There's, there, there's no doubt about it. Text messaging, very similar but, you know, probably a little bit less, you know, but texting is different, you know, in RVM, you're probably sifting through dead leads. Yeah, you called me, who's this, what, huh? Confused fucking people. At least with texting, you're probably dealing with someone, they might be fucking with you, that's real, right? That's the one thing about texting is there's a high fuck with percentage on the text messaging leads. I always joke and I say that it's the cold, it's the, it's the coldest warm lead that you can get is a texting lead, you know? So um, that's one thing about texting. That's, now That makes sense. Yeah. And then cold calling is the most qualified version. You know, the cold calling is the most, you get them on the phone. It's the least potential for bullshit. It's a big difference when someone's typing a lie in their phone and the lie is coming out of their mouth. There's a big, there's a big mm-hmm. line drawn, there, mm. you know? So, you know, on the phone, we have the most integrity. We have the most rapport. We get the most information. You know, RVM, you don't get shit. Text messaging, you really don't get shit. And then on the cold call, we ask up the 12 questions. And honestly, they're, they're answered pretty often. You get all kinds of notes, even from a short cold call, you know? And, and that's, that, that's probably the one big benefit. You know, I I believe in doing texting and cold calling um, and then using direct mail for like the ultra distressed. I think uh, I think direct mail still has a home. Mm -hmm. Um, It's just on the people that you don't want to call. Right. So like one thing about cold calling is you really can't cold call super distressed people because has anyone here ever talked to someone who's really pissed off? Oh yeah. 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 Okay. Definitely. Well, those people live on the mega distress list. <laughs> you know? Everybody on that list, they're like fucking yeah. sucks. So they're going to pick up the phone and be so fucking nasty. And that's why I really, those are direct mail lists. And the difference is there's a big difference between someone reading a postcard and going, yeah, you know, I actually do want to sell and hello. Yeah. Who the fuck is this? Yeah, what? You fucking, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, what happens is when, with the cold call, you're really calling into their life. They're in their underwear watching I Love Lucy. You know, they are not freaking ready right. uh, for, 
for, right. for, for your goal call. You know, what, what, one of the most frustrating parts of this business for me is, um, like you said, we were talking about KPIs when we call a hundred people, only nine to 14 of them actually pick up and answer the phone and we talk to them, but we leave, we leave pretty incredible voicemails around here in the club. <laughs> like they're fucking amazing yeah and so we get a lot of callbacks and mm. so the issue with the callbacks is is i finished up my two hours of desk time i've done some phone work i'm now tired i've completed my you know i'm, I'm ready to go have a cheese sandwich i like to put potato chips on it and then crush it down like that <laughs> mm. <laughs> and oh, then yeah. you know with a pop that's like the best thing ever in the whole world and and here oh wait a minute my phone's going off damn it it's one of those pesky sellers that i called and left a voicemail right so managing like what advice could you give us as far as from an investor perspective of managing the intrusive nature of the return calls because that's really where the fucking money is right right it's in those you people know, that, I, this is actually a great question and and i think you're gonna love this answer because the only calls I get are intrusive calls. I schedule calls with no one. I say, if you need me, call me. I had two people, you know, just call while we were on this thing. I like the spontaneous whim of the yeah. calls. You, you know what I fucking hate? Having something on my calendar. Oh, yeah. That, that is what I hate. You yeah. know, I absolutely hate the calendar. And it's like when someone's like, hey, I'm going to talk to you at 630. Is that cool? Or and i'm like whoa 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 just call like don't tell me don't tell me you're gonna call <laughs> oh jesus that's funny Ugh. so a couple of things of that number one you know is, is, is you know do we have anxiety around the phone ringing right oh and, yeah uh, that's right and i i think you know we all do even me you know even i do and i have the best customers on the face of the damn planet you know and, you know, and, and I, and I still, I, I, I hate the scheduled call. So I, I can only imagine people hate the, spon the spontaneous call. I prefer the spontaneous call personally. Now, the next thing I was going to say is it's your job to make sure you're emotionally available to take those calls. Right. See, that's the thing, man. You sit down the phone and you go crack a beer or two, mm -hmm. light up a joint, turn on your favorite video game, yeah. and you're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Right? Basically. Totally. Yeah. You yeah. know, and that's the thing is, and it's not even just that. You know, I mean, I have people call me at 11 o'clock at night and they say, and I'll answer. And they're like, holy shit, somebody answered? And I'm like, yeah, like, dude, I'm so sorry. It's so late. And I'm like, I'm just watching Netflix. Like, please give me an opportunity to make yeah. some fucking money. Please. More calls. More they calls. Do have a, they do have a pause button. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the same fucking 1995 anymore. You know, I was alive in those days. A lot of people weren't. I see some of you guys were. I can appreciate it. Yeah, TiVo. That. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Not back then. Um, <laughs> But, um, but, you know, it was, it, it's so important to, to really make sure now I've given away every other job in my business, but answering the phone. So wow. for, for me, when the phone rings, it's the only fucking job I got. What am I going to do? Not show up for it. Right. You know, look, someone else so is, someone's calling right now, you know, but I'll get back to him. Is that a customer? Of course it is. <laughs> you know, and if, and if it wasn't for me talking to 15 people right now, you know, I'd yeah. be all over that. All right. um, and, and guys, you know, and that pays off. I'll tell you, people call me all the time, especially investors. And they say, oh, my God, the, this is the owner because I have Facebook ads everywhere. If you guys haven't seen my face before, like my shit is everywhere. And I'm sure hopefully after this, you're going to see a lot of my ads. Please let me know. Um, but so, you know. These people, they see me and they recognize my voice. Did you say like, wow. a lot of your ass or a lot of your abs? Because <laughs> I noticed abs. you have a lot of shirtless content out there, man. What's the fucking story with that? <laughs> <laughs> that is only personal. That is my shirtless content. 
<laughs> that's, uh, only, that's my only fans okay uh, you know? that's great I, got, I gotta get it in where i can fit it in. <laughs> <laughs> um did he but, say um, only fans he said yeah. only fans i don't know i don't know what it costs everybody but there's a link in the chat description or this video yeah oh, yeah there's God. an affiliate uh, it's not called money sucks i'll tell you that uh, much. Um, only fans ed yeah or showed up money yeah only fans so, or is it are you asking ed's asking what's the name of the company is it only, only fans? fans yeah you go search for nicholas nick on only onlyfans.com <laughs> it's a subscription basis so i think it's like 9.97 a month <laughs> yes and how do you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Justin's actually yeah. a top fan. Look, I'm his fucking biggest fan. I'm I'm everybody's <laughs> biggest fan. Oh Lord. That's what's Justin, <laughs> Justin, Justin pays by the minute. <laughs> by the minute. <laughs> yes, he does. He's, he's my best customer, guys. I don't right, know. Right. Um, Can you put but, Nick's link in the in the in the chat? Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. yeah. So on um, that way, guys, that, that that is my website, the business that we're talking about. But you know what I was what I was alluding to was just being so active in your business. You know, when when your customer begins to see that you're available, 90% of my customers say it's like calling an old friend. You know, they don't even I'm right here for them. If you're frustrated, call me. If you're irritated, call me. I'm either mm -hmm. gonna fix it, make yeah. it right, or calm you down, or all three. You know, I mean, it's like it's super easy. I'm so available. I had a guy recently call me a scam on Facebook, and he's a customer of mine. And I was like, uh, his name was Rick too. No offense, other Rick. Uh, but he says, he says, damn, uh, bro. Like, All damn. Ricks, beware. Damn, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but he was like, he was like, man, this game. And I was like, you have my number. Like, how come you went to Facebook first? You know. And I ended up looking up his stats. We were only ten percent completed with his campaign. You know, oh, and. My and I was like, man, like, we're like, I thought you were done. Why did you think we were done? You know, um, but I definitely learned a lot in that experience, you know, but that that availability, I'm so ultra available. That's the first time that's happened in four years we've been open, you know, and I have to like look at it as like a numbers game and just know and not like get upset. And it's because I'm so active. So back to the spontaneous calls, free yourself up emotionally. You know, make sure you do have the cold calls going out. You don't have to be the one making the cold calls. You have to make sure they're going out. Make sure there's an acquisitions person converting those cold call leads to appointments. Make sure that acquisition person is making those appointments. Boom. You know, you, it's your job to either do the work or make sure it gets done. Yeah. You know, I mean, that is it. And I'm at a spot, you know, I've hired out, I have. 17 employees and i don't have anything to do but answer mm. the phone and so when it rings i'm like oh here we go you know i get excited yeah. about these calls it's my only job it's the only way i show up for work yeah and and so when that little responsibility comes i can't wait to take it so mm. that's my advice on the impromptu phone calls find a way to make your job less stressful so you can focus your energy on some of those small points when they matter. Yeah, yeah. I feel like too, there may be a greater principle here. He's saying, make yourself emotionally available for the follow-up call there, the, the call back for the, the intrusive seller call, the closing call, what, whatever you wanna call that. But I feel like too, there's a greater principle that we don't leave enough room for success. Like we're so fucking busy being the losers that we are at the time that we don't have room in our day to win. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like I have definitely been caught in that tornado, man. Just go mm -hmm. round and round and round. No room emotionally, no room in my schedule, no room in my life. And then what do I do? I just repeat groundhog day over and over and over and over, you know, I don't know. And I think, sense. no, it does. And I, and I think to clear, to add some clarity too to what you're saying is you're all, when you get so fucking caught up in the weeds of the small tasks you don't even like, by the time a revenue generating activity comes along, you're like, what the fuck is this? Like I'm right. all fucking out of gas now. Yes. I don't, I can't even show up to the big game 
Right. Because I'm all fucking out of gas. Right. Is what I, is what I feel like you're saying. Absolutely, dude. Yeah. 100%. Been there. And you know what? Yeah. The only motherfucker, I'm sorry, you make me cuss a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Blame it on him. Sorry, the yeah, only motherfucker exactly. that can fix that is you. Yeah. Right? I mean, I can't fix that for somebody. Your mom can't fix that. Dad can't fix that. Priest can't fix that. You have to create that kind of emotional availability and focus. I think too, it's a, it's, it's, what did you call this before? Malicious obedience. (laughs) It's like you're being maliciously obedient to the fucking program. Mm -hmm. Spite the money. You know what I mean? To spite Mm -hmm. the money. Does that make sense where I'm coming from? That was something you said at, in another episode but. no totally maliciously obedient is a, a, a phrase even my they're like why do you call it that i'm like because that's what it is whenever you're so obedient you may not even know it maybe you're not even trying to be malicious but it is you know i i say that about virtual assistants which is probably what what you were saying is virtual assistant you tell them to do something that son of a bitch will do it exactly that nothing more nothing less and it may not even know what the fuck you're talking about and might just do whatever the hell it thinks you it means you know and then you know someone else messages and they do the same thing um you know i remember because i have an actual assistant um that you know um, comes to the house and stuff and i was like hey man buy some coca-cola and buy some cheez it's right and then after I get done eating and drinking the Coca-Cola and the cheese, it's, I'm like, I gotta, I cannot do this again. I cannot have more Coca-Cola and more cheeses, right? <laughs> and, and then I forget to tell him. It was just a thought that I had. So then guess what? He walks in later that day with more Coke and cheeses. I'm like, oh, and that's the thing about being a boss is when you start systems, you also have to remember to stop that mm. too. Mm-hmm. Constant management, oversight, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, what's, yeah, up? That, what's up, that, Victor? You got a question for me? I, I think you muted. I do have a question, but I don't want to step on Herbert because I think he's been trying to ask a question for like an oh, hour really? now. Are, are, are you good, Herbert? Oh, sorry you about good? that, Herbert. Didn't notice, right. man. Sorry. Yeah, it's all, it's all good. Uh, okay, so Nick, if, if, if I want to use your service, let's say, you know, I'm, I've already got some stuff going on, some campaigns, whatever, right? It's kind of a pain in the ass to me a little bit. Uh, I would love to be able to just turn it over and not have to engage until somebody has actually been qualified and, and, and all that. So it, it, do I need to bring you um, a list or do I need to bring you a area that I want to focus on, say pre-foreclosures? Uh, Do I need to bring you a market that I want to go into, say, San Bernardino, California? Um, You know, what would be, how would I come into your system and maximize it from the very beginning? So we have a couple of packages. So one I call the all-inclusive package. Now, the all-inclusive includes a list, skip tracing, of um, American or Filipino callers and text messaging, all for one price. Let me see if I can screen share real quick. I can show you guys. This is, oh, you got your shirt on. Yeah, believe it. There's, a, there's actually a cold calling course. Right here. Yeah, exactly. I used to see you with your shirt. On. I can't believe you can recognize me. <laughs> like who is that? Yeah. You guys are trolling um, his home Facebook page, man. I'm not sure about dude, you guys. We are, we are all on that, man. <laughs> hey, you know, I put out a lot of interesting content, you know. Yeah, you need to put a tip jar on those photos, I guess, man. These guys <laughs> are going to new shit up. I got, you know, I, just say, I attract a lot of flies with my honey. Yeah, right. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so um, here, here's our website. You know, click the pricing tab at the top. And then I have, this is what I call all-inclusive lead generation. Now, everything here is no contracts, no commitments, no setup fees. So this is the price. And what you get, what is below it is what you get. Um, And it's that simple. You can choose to use this over one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. And we automatically have a 10-week program right here as well. Uh, this This has become the most popular. I recently created a payment plan 
for the 10 week Titan. Um, that's been super popular. So you can now get this for like $1,300 down and then $500 a week for 10 weeks. Um, but basically what we can do, you asked, would you provide the list or would we? So we provide one list when it comes to sellers and that's absentee homeowners. We've learned that absentee homeowners you know, to have some of the best contact rates, some of the best conversations. Earlier, I talked about talking to an asshole. Um, you don't want to really call, I, I wouldn't say a pre foreclosure list is one that's strong for cold calling. Now, if I'm going to be more fair, I feel like because of COVID, the pre foreclosure list might be back on the table. Okay. Previous to COVID, if people didn't pay their mortgage, it's because they didn't want to, right? Because right. of COVID, there may actually be people who wish they could pay their mortgage and actually can't. So I will say that COVID may change my mind a little bit because there's now maybe more people in foreclosure than there used to be. So there might be some reasonable people in there. But prior to COVID, we were in a flourishing economy. And if you didn't pay your mortgage, it was simply because you did not want to. <laughs> you know, it was that easy. Um, so we provide absentee homeowners. You provide us with the zip code. You provide us with the equity amount. And you provide us with, um, with the property value range and the property type. So for example, 100,000 to 400,000 single family houses um, with 35% or greater equity. Now you can also supply your own list. Maybe you have your own 1,500 records or 2,000 records. If you supply your own list, you can still buy this bundle. I would just do one of two things. Number one, you could send me a bigger list and I can skip trace the whole thing, or I can give you a couple, I think it, it's very little, but it, it ends up being extra dials or extra text messages. The list pulling is not the most weighted for the 940 or for the amount. So it doesn't give you the most funds like on this one. It might be like a hundred and or fifteen dollars is what was is the cost of the list on this one, you know that I charge you guys. Uh, these packages are heavily discounted and they are the cheapest you'll find any of my products because they're all bundled together. Um, now that's if you need everything, and I do offer this. This is American, and then this is Filipino. If you notice the price changes whenever we go to Filipinos. Um, yeah. and then, so this is still all inclusive. So then we have only cold call. Now this is, you already have a list. You already have a phone number, or maybe you don't, maybe you still need me to skip trace it, but you already have a list and all you want to do is cold call. You don't want a text message. You don't want me to pull it. Um, and this is what you would buy. So again, the Filipinos are half as much as the Americans. So these are the same package, twice the price to get an American. Now the Americans do perform twice as good. So it really ends up, you know, paying off as well. You know, um, it, do we pay additional skip tracing at this level here? Yeah. So this is, um, this is just cold calling. Now, if okay. you want skip tracing, I only charge seven cents per search. And if it's a bigger file, I can give you 10% off as well. Um, like, let's say, I don't know, 3,000 records or more, I can give you a 10% off coupon code. Um, and it's $0.07 cents per search. Now, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but I offer list and skip tracing by itself. I just dropped this price substantially. Um, and we're now offering $0.02 cent per records on the list and $0.07 cent per skip tracing. So $0.09 cents total. So... A thousand records would be 90 bucks pulled and skip traced, you know, and that's cheaper than some companies just skip tracing. Just skip tracing, yeah. Right. Um, so I just I just dropped that price because I, the way I see it is if I can get more lists with phone numbers in people's hands, they'll buy my other services. <laughs> so that was my. You know, do you guys do the scrubbing and all that too? Oh uh, uh, yeah, what do you mean by scrubbing? Do not call lists and litigators and all this stuff. Or, I mean, or no, no? I, I'll be honest with you. I don't recommend the DNC list um, for cold calling. Um, you know, it's really, you know, here's my DNC argument. 
Um, there's no one going on the DNC and removing phone numbers. So like, let's say Betsy, or let's use a better name, Martha. Let's say Martha gets her number put on the DNC list and then she gets another new phone and gets that number put on the DNC list and then another new phone and that number put on the DNC. Well, no one's going back to Martha's two previous phone numbers and going, hey, Martha got a new number. Uh, take that one off, right? So, you know, I, <laughs> you know, I operate under the um, ignorance, if you will, that there's hundreds of thousands of people on the DNC list who don't even know they're there and don't want to be there. And so that's why I don't recommend taking off the DNC. Now, if anyone ever says, hey, man, I'm on the DNC, do not be an asshole. You know, it's pretty simple. Um, you know, my team says the same thing to everyone. I'm so sorry. I will never, ever call you again. It's that simple, right? And if we're like, oh, yeah, fuck you, buddy. You're on the DNC. I kick your ass right off the DNC. Okay. <laughs> the DNC right here. <laughs> yeah, right exactly you know yeah. now honestly if you come at them like that they will sue your ass i'm not gonna lie to you okay so you know don't talk to people like that you know um and you know just bite the bullet i get it you know cold calling sucks but you know we can't we can't snap at people we've been open for four years we average probably forty thousand dials a week and we've never even had a dnc complaint um wow. at, at, wow. at lead mining you know, and it's, it's just about being polite and not hanging up on these people. And just, you know, we try to treat everyone like they're a person. Um, so, you know, your leads are in good hands, mm. you know, as, as, as well. But yeah, so this is, this is what I would recommend if you just want the cold calling here. Um, you know, if you don't have a phone number, I promise I'm the cheapest. I promise that we are some of the best ones out there. And for this price, it's not like you're investing a lot to find out whether I'm right or wrong. You know, I mean, trust me, I am the only skip tracing company that has a cold calling division. And I try to tell people all the time, I would not be open for four years if my skip tracing sucked. <laughs> okay, <laughs> The doors would be shut if we were not getting the right people on the phone. Um, so definitely, you know, keep that in mind. We're, we're one of the best. And it, most of the stuff, same day delivery. If you guys submit a list today, you'll get it back today. You know, there's no, there's, there's no kind of fluff. Yeah. So that's, that's great. That's great. Good. Lots to chew on. Lots to think about. Um, appreciate you being here with us today, Mr. Nicholas, Nick. Yeah, It's always a joy to have you here, man. You're going to have to stop by more often, man. Yeah. I guess, hey, uh, yeah. Hey, Nick, mind if I ask a question? Hit me. So uh, on the uh, qualifying, uh, how do you, uh, how does that all work? You know, as far as qualifying that, uh, that, uh, that cold call. So the cold call, what we call a lead, and I'm so glad you asked. Um, what we call a lead is anyone who wants to sell now or in the future. Now, what we do, now that's a lead. That's going to be sent to you no matter what. Sell now or in the future. That's yours. Now, what we do to additionally qualify that for you is we then will send, we then ask them 12 questions about the property. And these 12 questions really cover everything. Um, when the last time it was remodeled, is there a tenant in the property? How old's the roof? Any general repairs? Is there a mortgage on the property? What's their timeline to sell? Um, if we made a cash offer, how much would they take in the next 48 hours? Is there a good email address for them? Is there a good phone number for them? When's the best time for you to call them back? We ask them all of these questions and then we send you the lead. Now, what I tell people that is we don't qualify the lead. That's not what we do. However, we find out if they want to sell and then we ask them all of the qualifying questions. You know, some people, sometimes they want to like, yeah, you know, these leads suck. Yeah. Well, what about it sucks? Yeah. Well, you know, the homeowner wants $40,000. Well, okay. Well, the homeowner can want whatever the fuck they want for the house. You know, like I am not. And I remember when I first started, I used to say, you know, I'm in control of a lot of things. 
what the homeowner says is not one of them. You know, the important thing is we're calling professionally, we're asking the right questions, and you're happy with everything else, you know, because all it takes, if this person says 400,000, the next one will say 25,000, you know, so it's like it is just a numbers game to just pierce through that. Gotcha. What it is, so those are like kind of cold calls, like, you know, uh, out of state owners and things like that. What if you were calling uh, for sale by owners and you know, they want to sell. Right. What, well, so what, for, uh, Cause I had someone, someone making some calls for me, Nicholas, and, okay. and, and, you know, and he was just sending me leads that, you know, I mean, they're for sale by owners right. and we all know that, but you know, uh, there was no qualifying and uh, you know, <laughs> So I was kind of no, questioning, I, you know, what, what advantage was I getting at that point? Right. And the answer was none, right? So whenever you call for sale by owners or Zillow leads, you do need a script change. So our average script starts like this. Um, hello. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm looking for the homeowner of one, two, three, Sycamore Street. Yeah, that's me. Oh, hi. My name's Nicholas. Have you ever considered selling before? Now, if I said that to someone on the FISBO list, they'd be like, what are you fucking stupid? Right. The fuck? Right. Of course I want to sell. You know, <laughs> I'm on the damn, where the hell'd you get this phone number from, dummy? You know? And so what happens is on those lists, it you flip it and you say, Hey, I actually saw your property on the internet. And I saw that it was for sale. You know, they tell me how long has it been listed for? How long have you been selling it for? You know, you want to kind of get the conversation going in the other direction. You know, get them talking about all the annoying shit. Oh, man, why you want to sell the place? Oh, okay. Well, you know, now if you're calling a FISBO, you're going to do one of two things. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you're either going to lowball or you're going to terms offer them. Correct. Right. So you would have one of two things. Number one, you could have them build you a lot of rapport and just schedule you on the phone and let you deliver the ugly message. <laughs> which is probably what I would recommend. Um, you know, just have a nice friendly call, you know, ask some questions, some things that will help you maybe attack the pain points. Now, you know, he's been on the market 60 days. Now, you know, his aunt, his aunt died there and she was a fucking hoarder. Now, you know, like whatever, right? And then now you can choose how to approach the call. So, you know, my answer to your question would be like, if it's a FISBO or if it's a, a lead that's already selling, you have to change your approach. And we've made the same mistake. And, and that, that, that's why I know someone gave us a FISBO list. That's why I said, what are you done? Like it happened to us. We've heard all of it. And, you know, and the guy goes, I said, hey, you got 20 leads? Said, of course I got 20 leads. Nick, you're not using the right script. You're calling a bunch of people that are selling their houses, asking them if they want to sell their house. Of course, <laughs> right. I'm in that boat, Nicholas. <laughs> exactly. I said, let's and, hold off this week. I got to think about this, man. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, I would, I would reframe the approach. I would, um, hey, I saw your property on the internet. Make sure it's vague. Now you have a universal script for FISBOs. Okay. Um, and then, you know, hit them with maybe some rapport builders and pain points at the same time. I also recommend asking easier questions first. Uh, my script starts with easy questions and they get harder and harder and harder and harder. And we did that on purpose. You know, let's get eight or nine yeses. It's kind of like, what if there's like a scientific study where if you get someone to say yes, like six times before you ask them the real question, they'll say yes to that. So that's kind of like that. Um, in theory. So the, the, those would be the, um, what I would recommend to do with your cold caller. What a great point, Nick. I appreciate that. Yeah, my pleasure. And, you know, and just so everyone knows too, like you don't have to be a customer of mine to get great service. You know, like what Ed just asked me, the cell phone number on my website is literally my cell phone number. So, you know, if you guys go there and you got a question, like Ed just asked, you don't even have to give me your money. And the real truth is, I already know, and not that I do it for this reason, but if I give Ed advice and he closes a deal and he makes $50,000 and he wants to invest six, I know that that is going to be coming my way some way, somehow. And if it's not, I'm still okay. But the way I see things is like, I want to give back. You know, I want to help. If, uh, if, if my services aren't right for you now, let me still help you close a deal 
and I'll make it more right for you <laughs> whenever the time mm -hmm. comes. I like it. I like it. So if I got you a FISBO list, you, you guys could work that for me? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you guys will, you guys will pre-qualify them and everything a little bit. Then it won't just be like, yep, they still want to sell. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that, that's actually a good idea. That was, what I was getting up, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That would actually be a good idea for me to come up with like a, a FISBO revitalization campaign. Dude, I love it. That's yeah. right in that's right in our wheelhouse right there. Yeah. yeah. I like it that. I like that a lot. I'm gonna write that down. Any uh any questions for uh Nicholas Nick before we call it a day? It's we went pretty long today, longer than normal, and uh we had you know a lot of folks had to drop out because they had got to go back to work or whatever. But um for those of you that are still here, any questions or anything before we wrap up? Okay, okay, all right. Well, hey, thank you everybody for being here. Appreciate you. And thank you, uh, Nicholas Nick, for being here. Congratulations to all our MVP nominees and our Golden Cowbell Award winner, Coach Mark. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Love you guys. Yeah. Hey, right. thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, Nick. Love yeah, you guys. Justin. We'll see you. Thank you, Nicholas. Okay, thank you for being here, buddy. Man. Appreciate Nick, it. Guys. We'll see. I'll see you. I'll see you on uh, Facebook, man. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. MG. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs>